are you handling academic integrity in the online scenario? One of my strategy, I think I, I talked about early is uh, how you're going, you have to be creative when you um, create a design your final exams. So keep your objective in mind, as James mentioned, right? Keep your, what, what is the purpose, you, what outcome you want to see from the, uh, the students. So make the questions, like have a, some of the questions you have to looking for individual input. So this is, a, um, you know, discouraged because you cannot, your question answer is different from others. So um, creating final exams is creatively uh, I mean, this is a huge effort. Laura, do you have any insights on the academic integrity issue for assessment? So I think our main goal was to also like walk away from multiple choice and Googleable things and keep things a little bit more personal, um, but also to keep the percentage of everything super low and keep it very regular and part of the student's routine so that it's like a lot more effort to cheat than it is to just do the work almost, at least that's what we saw for the summer. We had very regular things that students had to do every week and there wasn't really like a, a capstone thing that was really big that they had to uh, do separately. And then you can see the authentic voice come through because it's regular, right? And when it's um, a high stakes assessment, I think that's when they're, they're definitely more apt to do some, some cheating. We didn't do any kind of online proctoring. McGill stayed away from that. Um, everything was open book. And so really we are also trusting our students. And I honestly think most of them have their best intentions forward. There's definitely going to be some people that maybe we're going to cheat anyway, even if we were in person and, you know, those cases are going to happen. And I think we shouldn't dwell on those cases. I think we should dwell on the 99% the of students that are here for the right reasons and doing things properly. And if we trust them and they trust us to have their best learning at heart, um, I, I really didn't see any evidence of, of some cheating during the summer. So Jennifer, how about you and your colleagues at the University of Toronto? What have you been doing with respect to academic integrity? Yeah, so I mean, it's a challenge and we do have a lot of professional services that are for hire that heavily market to our students to actually do the work for the students. And so that's kind of the worst type of cheating um, as opposed to students just collaborating with each other on an assessment, which uh, may still be cheating, but it's not as bad. So I think we've come to the realization that we cannot stop it. Um, we can certainly make decisions that would make the problem worse. And we want to make decisions that are going to any student that came into the course with good intentions, which is the majority of our students, the vast majority. We want to make it an environment such that they're not tempted to do something uh, wrong. However, there is going to be a group of hardcore uh, cheaters that uh, it's just impossible, um, but we can make it inconvenient and we can make it expensive. And so we are using this distributed assessment. So everything, you know, there's lots of different assessments. If you're going to hire somebody, you're going to have to hire them for hundreds of hours. Um, and so I think that, and this, but this kind of kills two birds with a stone because you get students engaged in your course, you get them working on the material, um, and then they feel like they can do the assessments themselves as well. So you're kind of uh, trying to, to build that in. And so I, I, I've also used, I do think machine marked questions with multiple versions uh, as a complement, especially for weekly assessments where you don't have the TA budget. I find those are really useful. And I actually, for 25% of my course grade now, for a number of years so of the overall course grade, 25% of it allows reasonable collaboration with other people in the class such that, um, you know, you each have an eight person, eight question quiz and, you know, it's numeric answer and you have a different numeric answer than your partner, but it's the same style of question. You can collaborate on that. And so I think for cases where you might think about it, is, or is there room for actual collaboration amongst your real students um, and permitting some of that can be part of a multi, it has to be a multi-pronged strategy for sure.